Welcome to lesson two of the Cooking with Chef Mark Knife Skills course. Today is all about knife safety, how to properly use your knife so that you don't cut your little digits. So let's get right into it. Okay, now it's time for some basics of how to use your knife. Um, I know a lot of us didn't really have proper training of knives growing up. We saw uh, our moms and our grandma you know, using all kinds of crazy techniques for cutting. In fact, I remember this was probably this kind of knife, a steak knife or a basic knife, was what my mom or my grandma used most of the time. And I saw them doing that old, old fashioned sort of, you know, holding the knife and moving the vegetable and using their thumb a lot. And I'm surprised they didn't cut themselves. Uh, you know, they didn't. They got used to doing it that way, but it's really not the best technique. So this is not going to be the kind of knife you're going to use. I'm going to teach you how to use, you know, any of these knives, so whether it's a chef's knife or a santoku knife, um, again, the idea is it's got a little bit of a bevel, and the cool thing is because of that, it uses the bevel for slicing. So you really just use the weight, you know, the motion and the weight of the knife to cut. You don't really need to, uh, you know, put a lot of force into cutting. The other thing is, of course, this is the most important thing, the hand that is not holding the knife. Um, unfortunately, I've got quite a few cuts uh, over the years uh, because, you know, it's just an occupational hazard. Um, but you want to be careful. So the main idea is, firstly, you want to, you know, trim your nails. But curving your fingers like that is, is the chef's sort of most important way of protecting your fingers. Obviously, if your fingers are out, you can cut them. If they're folded in, you can't. Okay, and the classic technique is we sort of use this, uh, you know, no matter what it is, we, you grip it sort of this way, you see, and you always keep your fingers folded in. When you're cutting things, you're not going to, you see, you're not going to cut yourself. So, um, so the idea is you're going to have this sort of, sort of claw, fold them in, and then if you're running along your knuckles, you can just go back and forth and not worry. Okay, so let me show you in a practical way. The easiest is with a pepper. This is a gorgeous uh, orange pepper. And I'll actually, this is a fun thing. I've, I've seen this in, there's a lot of different ways of cutting it. Some people will cut right through the center and then they've got seeds sort of flying everywhere and they've got to cut out that and the pith and all that. It's a little bit of work. I've seen other people very cleverly go along and roll it along and they get this one smooth, even thing. That's a little bit difficult and requires some practice. I'm going to show you the easy way. Most peppers have if you can see along here, they've got these ridges. Most of them actually are pretty square. They've got four sort of sides. And this one does, and it's a little more triangular, but it still kind of has its sides. The trick is to use the top of the ridge as your guide. And this one is perfect here. This is sort of the flat side. If you find the top and you, and you match sort of these two edges there on the top of the ridge, and you slice down, you get the lobe, OK? So there we go. That's one slice. Now I've got, of course, all my other sides. And I can do that either, this one I think I'm going to do it in threes because, I, you know, as I said, it's sort of triangular. Okay, and then my third side right there. And I got lobes, I got a little bit of the seeds there, but that's really not bad at all. I did pretty well with that. Now, a lot of people would just use that, okay? Throw all that away? No way, that's a lot of good uh, vegetable on there. The way I do it is I simply take the bottom, okay? And I, you want to leave this pithy stuff. Anything that's white or, or connected there with the seeds and all that is really not that good. But there's still good usable stuff here. I'll simply go down here, do little slices on there, cut that away. Okay. So you see I've got these kind of crazy weird shaped bits. If you're going to do a fine dice, no problem. Those get thrown into the dice. Otherwise, a chef gets to eat it. So. I've taken almost all the good flesh away from that pepper and all I've got is the seeds. And also, I didn't get seeds all over the place. They're all in a nice, compact type thing and I can throw that in the garbage. Okay, so I've got all my sort of the sides of the uh, pepper and I just need to remove this little pith. Like I said, the white part is not so tasty. So the easy way is simply to run your knife along here and slice that right out. And see, now all I've got is this beautiful orange pepper. Now, you might want to use your small paring knife for this. I, I usually just try to use one knife for the whole, uh, you know, for everything so I don't have to wash too much. But, you know, if it's easier, you can do this. And of course, this allows you to really get in and get intricate. And I'll show you this. This you can just sort of cut in there. And it allows you to curve it much easier and sort of cut away and you keep your flesh. And I'll show you with this last one here. Okay. 
there. Okay, really good. All right, so I've got all my uh, my bell pepper all broken down. Now it's time to chop, and I'm going to show you the strips or what you know what might be called a julienne cut. So here we go. Got my knife. Got a good grip here, not too tight, but a good grip, and I'm going to hold this now. You might want to do, you might try doing it this way, but look, you've got this thick skin on here and I'm going to have to sort of press through to cut it. It requires a little bit of work, which means that you could accidentally cut yourself and we don't want that. So the easier way is to use this more sort of uh, softer side on the inside and I hold it down. I use my technique where I, I sort of do the claw and you can keep your, the tip of your knife right there on the, on the tip of the, um, on the, right on the cutting board and that never leaves it. See, that's just going to rock back and forth. Okay, I'm not going to do much. I'm just going to, and, and you have this sort of back and forth motion. It's rocking. It's like, um, I don't know what you want, might want to uh, compare it to, but it's just a, an easy rocking motion. Okay, and I, I pull back. I take another cut at it and I go through. Okay, and then I get all my pieces of Thin julienne. Now the other way you could do it is this. You could start here and just go straight through. Okay, that makes a little noise and it also sometimes kind of, you know, might sort of damage your tip a little bit. But if you want really even cuts and you want to be sure you'll get them, then it's, it's a good technique. So you see I've got some nice thin strips of my pepper. God, that is so gorgeous. It looks really beautiful. Okay, so again I'll just show you really quickly. And you see, as I get to the end, I still, because I have that claw there, I still can control a little bit of the food without hurting myself. And now, if you're practicing this, you might want to be careful about that and, and wait until later to sort of get that last little bit. Sometimes you just turn, either that becomes the piece that the chef eats, or you just turn it around and chop it this way. Um, it, safety is always the, the most important thing, so don't sort of do that fast motion uh, with your knife when you're getting to the end of anything until you're really ready for it. All right, so that was the julienne cut, and you see I got some really lovely strips. That would look great in a salad, um, but if you want to have diced pepper, it's really easy. You just turn your julienne sideways and you start dicing. Again, I'm going to show you. I've got my claw, got my knife, and I'm going to sort of do it a little slower at first so you see. I just simply move my knife a little farther to the right each time so I get a little more of the pepper. You see, very easy. Now here's the, here's the sort of the, the fancy fast chef way there, okay? And we go through all the way to the end and we've got some little itty bitty dice there. And now what I like to do is I like to turn it over because sometimes you see, look, there, I didn't cut all the way through the skin on those. That's not such a big deal. I can just grab that bit and just run it through the knife a little bit more and get my little pieces. Okay, so this is sort of like a confetti cut of the pepper. And you see, now, you'll oftentimes on TV see these chefs just scoop it up with their knife and go. And that's great, but you want to be careful. You spent all this time getting a nice sharp blade and if you scrape, you're going to ruin the, the, the blade. So you can Gently do it like this, you know, put it on there, or you can use the back end. The back end works just as well, and you don't ruin the blade if you do that, okay? So I got my nice little pieces there. Now you'll never cut yourself again if you follow the claw, all right? So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, for the rest of the cooking videos in the uh, Knife Skills series, you can check that out right over here. And you can also subscribe to the Remarkable Palette channel for lots more current cooking videos. See you soon.